Hey guys, Scott Sear here. We're uh, reporting live from the, the Brumbies Ball here at the QT Hotel. Uh, thank you very much to the QT Hotel for uh, sponsoring us this year. Um, I've got young Nick Juiced here. Um, mate, look, it's been um, quite a special season so far. Your first with the Brumbies. Um, how do you wrap it all up? Oh, oh, I've loved my first season here. Um, obviously, it's a big move for me coming from Perth, but the boys have really welcomed me in and um, yeah, it's been a real, I'm really experienced so far. I've got uh, Smoking Joe to Monday. Um, he's uh, unfortunately one of the players leaving the Brumbies next year, but he's left us with so many highlights, you know, to, to revel on the last uh, four, four or five years. So, um, um, Joe, mate, like, um, you know, devastating end to the season, but um, what was one of the more special moments this season for you? Um, thanks for the question, Scott. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I think, geez, just, just being a part of... Um, I don't know, man. Like I, I couldn't, I can't put my finger on one one moment exactly. Like I knew for a while that this would probably be my last year. So I think just all the games that I played, just being a part of part of it, whether we we're winning or losing, just just being a part of that um, was you know absolutely amazing and something that I'll I'll always cherish. You know. So. Congratulations on um, on winning one of the young players of the year. That's a great achievement, mate. And. Um, you know, what do you, what do you put it down to this year? Um, I think just learning from all the other ex uh, experienced players such as yourself and Sammy Carter and Scotty Party, just like being able to learn um, from them in terms of like little things about my game that I, that I need to fix and um, you know, learning from people like that is a um, you know, very valuable experience and just so, so thankful that they're willing to give me some of their expertise. I'm live in here inside the ball. Uh, tonight it's been such a lovely night. I've got young Ben Hine here who debuted for the Brumbies tonight. Uh, look mate, I know it was short, but it must have been uh, quite an incredible night for you. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, obviously growing up as a kid, it, you know, it's something that I was striving to achieve and uh, yeah, it was uh, certainly an unreal experience for myself and my family. You're one of the better looking uh, guys in this in this club. Uh, you know, you're, uh, you're a standard up there in terms of skin folds, but um, one of the rave questions we've been getting is, um, what is the, the hair product that you use that keeps those luscious locks in place during a game? I don't know about all that, mate, but um, in terms of the hair product, I just use this, uh, it's just like Coles brand, Surf Wax or something. I don't even know, but it seems to do the job, all right? Congratulations, must go in order. We've been uh, family friends for a while, but debuting for the Wallabies was a, was a huge achievement. Um, you know, talk us through the moment. Yeah, it was a dream come true, not only for myself, but for my family. Uh, mainly to represent, uh, you know, not only myself, my family and my nation. But um, obviously, it was a disappointing result. But to see my parents at the end, it was uh, it was a moment that I cherished forever. They were crying, and uh, you know, they're just very happy about the moment, and something that made me realise that there's more to life than you know, uh, just uh, losing a rugby game. You just got anything you um, you want to say to the fans for the upcoming years? I think, um, firstly, just to thank you for for your support. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, you know, whether we won or lost, you guys were always there. Um, and just to, for, I think, for like welcoming uh, myself and my wife, my family uh, into the community, the Brumbies family and, and the Canberra community. Uh, it's been an amazing journey, and I'm glad that I got to do it with all you guys. So thank you so much. It's just good to get a, a view from all the players on how the season went. So uh, guys, thanks for all the support, and look forward to seeing it in 2017. Appreciate it, guys.